Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where learning math is made simple and fun. I'm Ayan Viloria and today we will tackle about systems of units of measure. So this is grade 7 mathematics. So grab your pen and paper and let's solve this together step by step. First, we have our objective. So number one, identify different systems of units of measure traditional, non-standard, English, and metric system. Second, differentiate among the three systems of units of measure. And lastly, appreciate the importance of using standard measurement in daily life. Okay. So, first picture. Can you guess what is this? Alright, so this is a ruler in inches. Next picture, we have, okay, so that is a one liter bottle of water. How about this one? So this is 25 kilos of rice. And lastly, this one. Okay, very good. So that is isang dangkal or handspan. So, what is the purpose? Bakit natin ipinakita ito? Because this are we going to use in order to measure some activities later on. Okay, question. How would you measure the water inside the bottle? What unit is used when buying rice in the market? Right, in the example, so we have this one. Which of these units are standard and which are non-standard? So, saan dito sa apat? So, it's either roller ba, bottled water, 20 kilos, and sang dangkal. So, non-standard. Alright. So, which of these units? So, ang pinili natin is so itong dangkal. Isang dangkal or handspan. How about which system used in the Philippines? Ano bang ginagamit natin? Inches? Metric? Or non-standard? How about which system is used in the U.S.? Okay, gatin. So traditional, uh, traditional and non-standard. So ito yung sample dangkal, dipa, hakbang, gatang. Idangkal, dipa, hakbang, gatang. So ito yung traditional or non-standard na ginagamit sa kanayunan. Another is the English system. So example ng English system, we have inch, foot, Yard, mile, pound, and gallon. For metric system naman, we have meter, liter, gram, and kilogram. So when I say non-standard units, so these units are not exact or may differ from person to person. Baga, kayo na lang nagka, uh, nag-usap. So, which is, for example, isang dangkal o sa junk shop that is plus 10 pesos. So, hindi siya standard. Another is the English system still used in the U.S. and some countries. So, example ng English system. So, we have inches, yard, gallon, and pound. Metric system, ito yung tinatawag na international standard used in science in most countries, including the Philippines. So, kilo, what else? Liter, uh, meter, kilometer. So, ito yung ginagamit natin. So, this is the comparison of the traditional English system and metric system. So, in units, so, dangkal, handspan, dipa, Armspan, hakbang, step, gatang, 
rice measure. Sa English system naman, that is inches or inch, foot, yard, mile, mass, ounce, pound, ton, volume, we have pint, quart, gallon. In metric system, for length, we have millimeter, centimeter, meter, kilometer, mass, we have gram, kilogram, and volume, we have milliliter and liter. So, sa characteristics natin, in traditional, this is based on body parts or object, not exact or consistent. In English system, not decimal base. Conversion vary. For example, 12 inches is equivalent to 1 foot. For metric system naman, we have the decimal base powers of 10. So, this is standardized worldwide. So, ginagamit ito sa buong mundo. Not only in the Philippines, but worldwide. Okay. Another is the where commonly used. So, traditional or non-standard daily traditional use in markets, households, and rural areas. Okay. Ginagamit pa rin ito hanggang sa ngayon. English system, United States, some countries, in carpentry, especially dito sa atin sa Pilipinas, still you're using the uh, English system. Example, uh, one foot, eight feet, six feet, like that. Textiles, ginagamit pa rin yung English system. In metric system naman, international accepted, especially in science, medicine, schools, most countries including the Philippines. Okay. Try natin. Example. So we have situational questions. Example number one. If you want to measure the length of your classroom, what system will you use? Anong gagamitin natin? Metric bar, English, or traditional? Okay. So we're going to use the metric system or in meters because if you're going to measure the length of your classroom so this is standard especially na sa DepEd tayo so nationwide so we're going to use this one in metric system especially in meters next your mother is buying one kilo of fish which system and units is used so meron na tayong idea which is one kilo Clue, 1 kilo. So, this is metric system. 1 kilogram. How about this one? A carpenter uses inches when cutting wood. Which system is this? Uses inches. So, therefore, inches is an example of English system. So, therefore, English system ang ating gagamitin. Next, last. When estimating the length of table using DIPA, what system is being used? So, from the word DIPA, of course, alam natin that this is traditional or non-standard. So, DIPA or arm span. Okay, I hope may naintindihan sa ating tutorial this evening. So, ngayon, you're going to answer this one. Identify which system unit belongs to traditional, standard, or English system, or matrix system. For number one, DIPA, number two, GROM, number three, INCHES, and number four, GATANG. Okay? So, please uh, answer your, answer the problem doon sa ating comment section. So, muli. Okay, so this is Teacher Ayan. Maraming salamat sa pagkinig and don't for like uh, don't forget to like, share and comment to my YouTube account and Facebook account. So this is Teacher Ayan, magandang gabi and daghang salamat.